Good afternoon, everybody. Today I'm going to build for you from the elements of pop up the 90 degree angle fold, figure number 20, and the unequal angle fold. All from the elements of pop up. Here's the book. And these patterns are download downloadable at popupbooks.com. And what we're doing this afternoon is um, moving over to angle folds. So we've done all the pa parallel folds up to figure number 19, and now we're starting on the angle folds. Here, this is the angle fold right here, the basic angle fold. All right, so what I'm going to show you this afternoon is, is what I call an out-of-the-page angle fold. You don't have any gluing on this, so this is I'm just using the flat sheet of paper. And I'll do some scoring here. And I call this the angle fold. Some people call it the V fold because you can see the V here. I call it the angle fold because it's made of angles. And so it has different types of angles used in different ways. This one has two equal angles. There's one, there's the other. So we call that the um, equal angle fold. And this one is um, the unequal angle fold. And you'll see what see the dif difference here in a minute. See angle, angle, it's still a V, but it's it's consists of a combination of angles. Okay. And the reason I um, call it the angle fold also is, is, that, is that all these angles, all, the apex of the angles, that's the point where they meet, always meets on the center fold or a center fold, which powers the pop-up. And the, what the angle fold is used for is movement. The angle fold creates move movement in the same way that the parallel folds create dimension and structure. The angle fold creates movement and structure and dimension. And you can see that this pop-up, because it's, because it's out of the page and the pieces aren't tipped, tipped on or glued on, it's flat when it's at 180 degrees. So there's 180 degrees, so it's not bent at all. It's, it's, in, it's in dimension when it um, is at, you know, basically at 90 degrees. And sometimes these are a little, tri little bit tri tricky to pop out of the page. You really have to work it from behind and from the front also. So there's the basic movement right there, the basic pop-up. And as you can see, it creates movement. Let's see, I'll show you how far it travels. That's what we call this. The, the amount of movement in a pop-up we call travel. So let's see how this, how this piece moves. Okay. There you go. That's the basic angle fold pop-up. It's one of the two most basic structures. The angle fold and the parallel fold. But now we're uh, going to do a whole series of angle folds with different variations on the angle fold. And this is uh, this is something that's fun right here. This is a um, pop-up we did about the, um, based on the work of the artist, the Italian artist Bruno Minari. And there's Bruno. <laughs> And this is uh, this really shows movement. You can really see the movement of the angle fold here. There you go, the ninety degree angle fold, figure twenty, and the unequal angle fold, figure twenty one. Thank you.